so 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 the thing is right so again going back to so so going back to uh the previous one of the previous things i said about the video i made called influencer driven development right several people before have came to my stream and said why are you using xjs why why are you not using xjs right why are you using planar react right and then i asked the people right uh well, why would I use Next.js, right? And many of them don't have an actual response, right? So let's let's elaborate that just for two minutes, right? So Next.js basically, right, is a server-side rendered React, right? So instead of rendering the stuff in your browser, your browser doing a lot of work, your server renders the HTML payload and then delivers it to the front. And then there's a, there's a mixture, there's a hybrid hybrid part of this, you can do a little bit of both, your server can deliver some payload with an extra JavaScript, and then, uh, so you can have, you know, kind of this hybrid places where people fall mostly, because, you know, they want the user experience UX of a serv server-side application, but they also want the quick, faster renders maybe due to the SEO reason, search optimization, right? But unfortunately, a lot of the people who claim these things, they don't actually use it for that reason. They use it just because it's a new shiny thing, right? Uh, keep in mind that server-side rendering is not free, right? If your server has to not just talk to your services, but also render HTML, which is actually quite extensive, scaling these things is also becomes harder and your server bill becomes more expensive. You couple your front end and back end, and we go back in time 20, 30 years. I mean, WordPress and Joomla and E107 and a bunch of these things have been server side rendering. PHP has been server side rendering pages for decades. So did the uh, Visual Basic, uh, C Sharp, and stuff like that. So, so server side rendering or Next.js is nothing new. That's how internet initially worked, right? Now you could say, hey, Alex, well, I wanted to use Next.js because SEO matters a lot to me. I want Google and Bing and all of these search engines to index my pages faster. And to some degree, that's true, right? It does help. Modern search engines can also index your Ajax-led sites like, server, like, a single, like single page apps like React and Angular and stuff anyway. So if you really need to absolutely squeeze in these... Um, SEO things, then absolutely go for uh, go for Next.js. Now, of course, there's a lot of negatives, which is why I don't use it. All of these tools do a lot of magic, right? Next.js basically is a mixture of Next.js is a mixture of super intelligent hacks that people may you know made work, right? But it doesn't come with a with a with a with a without a cost. It comes with a huge cost. Again for your server cost. It's this bundled thing that now some libraries work, some libraries don't work. I personally hate file-based routing. Some people are talking about the uh, uh, file-based routing as a, as a feature. It's like, it's not a bug. It's a, I think it's a terrible idea. Mapping your file locations to your route is terrible. It doesn't help. It couples certain things which shouldn't matter at all what I'm delivering on slash X should be in no way coupled where my file is. That's completely idiotic idea in my opinion. So I hate it. I always hated it. I hated it from the FTP times, file transfer protocol times when we would drag our stuff, right? So, so, but in simple words, if you're learning React, just learn React. Just learn a view library, learn how to write a component, learn how to use map and reduce and learn the reconciliation algorithm, learn how these tools work, then as your complexity grows, add a state machine uh, or whatever, you know, whatever. So uh, Next.js is just a tool with a bunch of different coupled ideas. It has some really good ideas like image optimization. It has a lot of great things, don't take me wrong. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just in many cases when you talk to people, they can't exactly tell you why they're using. They're just coming up and saying, why are you not using it? But then when I reverse that question and say, why are you using it over such a simple thing as React? They don't have a response, right? Usually it's a SEO response, but um, that also doesn't drink much water under quotes, right? So 
So if you want to learn React, start with React. Maybe one day you might need an XJS or some server-side rendering. Maybe not, right? But I'm sure that at this point uh, you don't need it. So yeah, that's my response.